Salutations and welcome to the farm. Well, the day has come to a close on a productive day here at the farm, and it's time to put something together for dinner. I've had a recipe that I've been saving for a while, and I've promised one of you that I would make this for dinner one of these days coming up, and here we are. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some tuna melts, but tuna melts with a twist. We're gonna do faux tuna melts for those of you who have fish allergies or don't eat fish at all, and we're gonna make them with garbanzo beans. Garbanzo beans can be replaced for chicken or for tuna in any of your salads. It is a great replacement and it's full of protein. So let's get started. I've got my little Chef Pro Chopper from Tupperware out and we're gonna utilize this today instead of hauling out the big food processor that's very heavy. So I'm gonna use this instead. So I have one can of garbanzo beans. They've been rinsed and drained. We're just gonna pop them in here. Ah, they're getting away. <laughs> I have more food try to escape during these tapings. <laughs> and we're gonna put the lid on and we're just gonna pulse this a couple of times. Now to our garbanzo beans, we're gonna add some other ingredients to make our tuna salad. So I've already chopped up some red onion. I didn't chop it fine. The recipe calls for it to be chopped fine, but I left it in bigger chunks knowing that the blades here would break that down quite a bit. So I've got about three tablespoons. We'll just drop that in there. We're also gonna add one teaspoon of capers. Now, if you don't like capers and you want something else that's salty, you can add some dill relish or some dill pickles in here. We're gonna go for the capers. I purchased them just for this recipe. To that, we're gonna add some of my homemade sweet relish. I can't help it. I know this is to be a little bit more on the salty side with those capers in there, but I just love this relish. I made it this last summer out in the summer kitchen. I will be making more this summer when all of our cucumbers come in, and I'll show you how I do that. I'll share that recipe with you. We're just gonna take a, you know, about a couple teaspoons, throw that in there just for some flavor. <laughs> Wrong lid. To that, we're gonna add just a pinch of oregano. And you're just gonna crumble it up in between your fingers. Sprinkle that in there. We have about a teaspoon of lemon juice, a pinch of pepper, and a pinch of salt. Now to this, we're gonna add about two tablespoons of mayonnaise. So let's get that in there. That should do it. Let's see what we've got. If you happen to have one of these little things from Tupperware, you know these blades are really sharp. I cut myself on one a couple weeks ago, so be very careful when handling that. And look at that, we have a beautiful tuna salad made out of chickpeas. Let's move on to the next step. Let's go ahead and get some little slices of bread here. About a half inch thick, we're gonna cut them on the diagonal, so we have a little bit more of a work surface to have here. I think I'm gonna try to do four for myself and four for my husband. Okay, we have our little pan here that we're gonna put in our toaster oven. We will be setting it to the broil setting. So we're gonna take our little pieces of bread. I've got a little bit of mayonnaise here. And we're just gonna lightly coat the top of each piece of bread. You don't want too much. You don't want your bread to get soggy. And if you want this to be a truly vegan dish, you can uh, use vegan A's with this. Also, we are gonna be adding some provolone cheese. And if you want this to be vegan, you can get some Daya as well. All right, there's four. Am I gonna be able to get any more than that? I might have to do this in little batches of four. My toaster oven is so small. So to this now, we're just gonna add just a little scoop of our faux tuna salad mix, and we're just gonna put it right on top. I just use a little cookie dough scoop. You don't want too much. Again, you don't want that bread to get soggy. We'll just use the back of our spoon here to just press that down a little bit. Evenly distributed across the bread. I've got a tomato that I've sliced very thin. This is from my produce subscription box that I get every couple weeks. 
And we're just gonna put one slice of Roma tomato. And on top of that, we're gonna add our provolone cheese. I've got the cheese cut into little wedges. We're gonna put two wedges on each slice. And we're gonna put these in the toaster oven and see how they turn out. While those first four are in the toaster oven, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the next four. I've got some buttermilk ranch dressing chilling in the refrigerator. And I've got a salad mix with some romaine and some baby greens. So we'll be having a salad with our tuna melts tonight. Our faux tuna melts. You know, just one can of chickpeas made enough salad for us to have dinner tonight for two adults. And I'm gonna have some leftover where I can have tuna salad sandwiches tomorrow for lunch. Maybe even enough for two days. And the nice thing is it won't spoil as quickly as tuna fish does. Okay, we've just taken our tuna melts out of the oven and hubby is home. So I'm gonna take these off of our baking tray and let them cool a little bit before we try them because they're gonna be hot. These were in for about four minutes in our broiler and you want them to stay in until the cheese gets all melted and bubbly and brown on top. And we'll put these in and get these going. Our second tray of tuna melts are done and I've just taken them out of the oven. Hot, hot, hot. Let those cool a little bit. But while those are cooling, I'm gonna give one of the earlier ones a taste. Now I'm not a big fan of tomatoes, but I do like tomatoes in some instances, like on a beautiful margarita pizza or in some pico de gallo. We'll see how I like it on a tuna melt. Here we go. That's really nice. It has the texture of tuna in a tuna salad. A little bit of saltiness with the capers. The cheese is delicious. I'm not minding the tomato. It doesn't have a fishy taste to it, so which is a big plus for me. These are really nice. All right. Good deal. I hope you enjoyed making these with me today. I'll have all of the ingredients listed below as well as on the blackboard. We'll be back again soon. Take care and have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Giving up on you.